the Joe Rogan experience. Did you always have that style? No, I didn't. When know. did you develop that? Once we started working on our Cypress Hill demos, um, Muggs came to me and said, hey, man, you got to do something. You got to do something different. Otherwise, you're going to write for Sen. Because Sen had a good voice. His shit was locked in. And my voice, I was rapping in a voice similar to the one I'm talking. And although the rhymes were good, it didn't cut through on the style like on on you know on the beats it, it just sounded like you know some regular shit so you know i didn't want to be someone's writer you know i wanted right. to write for myself so you know I, there was a guy that we used to listen to um coming up was name was ram lz he was on this uh record called wild style and he was in the movie he was this uh rapper who is very uh obscure but he was an artist too you know like a graffiti artist but then also an, an artist artist you know but he was also a rapper and what he would do is he'd rap in a regular style like his talking voice this is the brother they call the ram l he had a deep voice like that and then he would flip right in the middle take it up town to cypress hill with the shotgun blah, 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 like that and you know we were always freaking out on that he had two styles so I tried throwing my voice in that sort of similar style and it ended up sticking. I didn't really like, I didn't think anybody was going to like it. I thought they were <laughs> going to be like, get the fuck out of here with that. But they ended up liking it. And uh, I think the first song that um, came about in that style was uh, the song Real Estate off our first album. It's, uh, you know, that was where I tried it the first time. They liked it. So then Kill a Man came next. And I tried yeah. that song in that style. And then Hand on the Pump. And it just became a flow after that. And I really did not feel it at first. I was like, fuck, I can't believe they got me rapping in this voice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 took, it took a minute to get used to that. You know, like doing it live. Because, you know, I had a tendency, we, as, as rappers, you know, that don't know because there's no school for this unless you have somebody who's done it and they teach you, okay, this is what the get down is. And we didn't have that, really. It was all hands-on learning. I, you know, for the first few years, man, I was trying to do the voice and I'd end up, you know, getting overhyped because the crowd is hype and I'd start yelling the verses instead of like rapping them like on the record. I'd throw my voice out. My voice would get scratchy. I'd be sounding like Buster Rhymes and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it took me five years to actually harness how to actually do the shows with this voice. And I had to go to this opera singer um, coach. Really? She, uh, her name was something Elizabeth Sabine or something like that. She trained a lot of folks, but she, she, she her shit was like to teach you the operatic way of, of singing, which is from the diaphragm, tighten the stomach, take little breaths, but those little breaths make your lungs expand, you know, a lot. And it's less projection from your throat and more from the bottom. And she taught me that technique and I never went hoarse again after that. I like would, you know, people often compliment me on, you know, sounding so close to how the records are. There's once in a while where I might get excited and start saying it louder than it might be but i'm always sort of right there and i gotta you know i gotta give all props to her because if she hadn't showed me that technique i'd probably still be yelling and screaming my shit out <laughs> fucking up my voice you know yeah, that brings up an interesting point is this her yeah she's teaching oh, somebody how to this. sing heavy metal right here yeah no way let me hear some code we can't play this on youtube we'll get kicked off youtube and she was a, and she was an opera singer at one time wow but she went on to teach people the technique no kidding man that is wild. <laughs> <clears throat> See, because if you try to keep your breath and, and and sustain a long note like that from your chest, you won't sustain that l note long enough. But if you tighten so up. Doing it from your diaphragm? Yeah, if you tighten oh. up almost. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like if you're going to take a shit. Oh. You're like, oh. 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 Instead of from the throat, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, like it, it, it allows you, it allows your lungs to expand while you're breathing mm. through from your diaphragm. So that's what she taught a lot of singers. And it's a, a another method is to cheat the word, like pronounce it. You know, like you're kind of like it's it's like what these mumble rappers do when they they pronounce a word and they kind of mumble it and mm -hmm. they sort of cheat it. You know what the word is, but they didn't pronounce it 
all the way right it, so so in other words if she's gonna you were gonna sing the line come he come with me you'd, it, so it sounds a little bit cleaner you'd say gum with me but in the way you would say it is more with a g but it's so tucked in that you hear come with me mm. and it's just a cheating way of saying it to get the line a little bit cleaner and and fucking uh you know in the breath and she taught me all that shit and and, and it worked for rap i didn't know if it would because I mean, it was it's she primarily taught singers. I was probably the first rapper that she taught this technique to, and it stuck, man. How'd you find her? Um, one of one of my friends had heard of her, you know, because I mean, in the in the industry, you meet, you know, you become friends with other, you know, um, your peers and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and you know, I I knew a couple singers, and they 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 were, you know, noting my problem is to you know screaming my verses and coming back with the raspy voice so they were like here why don't you try this person right here this person taught or or gave this technique to so and so and it was another singer i can't remember but um i, I thought well you know what have i got to lose i mean if it doesn't work it doesn't work but maybe i learned something from it that i could use somewhere else right and fuck she she taught me the the warm-up she taught me, uh, you know, the certain words that you can cheat to, to you know, for, for certain breath control purposes, because the way you pronounce certain things, you know, sort of add to that. And just the, the tightening of the, the diaphragm, man, like if, if I hadn't learned that, it would have took me a lot longer to do the shows the way that I can do them now. So do you warm up before shows? I don't necessarily need to. Like from the first song on, m my voice, like gets in like the first few bars it it warms up right then and there and uh and it's not really like singing where i gotta sustain notes and stuff mm -hmm. like that so i don't have to do those same kind of warm-ups if i was gonna sing some shit yes i would definitely have to get my you know get the pitch right and the throat warmed up to to do those different you know melodies or whatever the hell but fortunately i don't sing <laughs> yeah.